Look, if somebody had been watching pornography on the checkout in Tesco's or in any other workplace, they'd have been out the door that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And that's the significant difference and where so many of us felt let down over the course of the past few days is that there wasn't that swift mechanism that could work. There wasn't the ability to say, well, look, here's a policy. It's in contravention of the policy. Then you can take all of the personalities out of it if something is in contravention of a clearly stated policy. And a lot of us have been calling for that for a long time. Look, put these in place so that you don't get swamped with this sort of uh, protracted argument about what has happened and what has gone wrong. We want to put it all behind us. We want to be able to talk about Ukraine, the cost of living crisis, all of the issues that I know are impacting my constituents. So we've heard today from um, the speaker that he's going to pull together a speaker's conference, which is a pretty serious thing, um, to look at changing employment practices in Parliament. Do you think that's the right step or do you think it kind of misses the mark a bit? Well, look, I think that's um, an interesting proposal. A speaker's conference is serious and that'll give us some time to look at the issues and consider it. But it's not just staffers, is it? This isn't about interactions between MPs and their staff, although that is indeed an issue. This is about interactions between members of parliament themselves. And I want it to be a respectful workplace. I want people to be able to, to interact in a responsible and adult way with each other. I think there are some really interesting arguments now raging about whether there's access to too much alcohol in the commons. There's also the, the suggestion that this is inevitable when you're working in a pressured environment, long hours. No, it's not. And there are plenty of other uh, sectors that we could point out where people work very long hours in very pressured environments and don't have this sort of problem. So look, I'm just saying, let's get a policy in writing. Uh, and I would say specifically as a Conservative Party, our whips should have a policy that they can then refer to, point out and go, look, X has infringed this, we need to suspend the whip, have an investigation. That absolutely should be carried out thoroughly and fairly, giving everybody the right to put across what has happened. But I think we do need to have this sort of um, fixed policy that people can identify and use when things go wrong.